Hey there, this is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Really appreciate it. Hey, in this particular episode, I'm going to focus again on Apple Smart Rules and Smart Mailboxes in Apple Mail. Now, I've done a video before on that subject, but in this particular video, I'm going to focus in on the 10 types of smart mailboxes and smart rules that I use to keep my emails managed and to help me just kind of get things done in Apple Mail. So if you're interested in this topic, definitely open up your Apple Mail and follow along. Let's get started. All right, here we are in Apple Mail. Um, I'm going to show you about five different uh, smart mailboxes that um, I use. These are different, you know, types of smart mailboxes, and I have some that are kind of similar to the ones that I'm about to show you here. Uh, the first one here is uh, Today, call it, call it Today, and basically it just consists of all the emails that I received in the last 24 hours. And so that's really a great one there, and what I do here is I just... Uh, some of these mailboxes, I just kind of drag them to uh, the toolbar here so I can quickly access them there. All right, the next one that I use here is one called Unread Messages. Let me show you this one here. And it's basically just the messages unread. Now, I typically try not to check my emails uh, more than three times uh, throughout the day. Uh, but when I go there, sometimes I can just quickly, you know, see what any messages that have been unread or haven't checked. And once those are checked, you see, um, they are uh, they automatically disappear uh, from that, uh, well, they should automatically disappear from that uh, from that mailbox. There you go. See, so it automat So once you, you know, once you check it and read it, it'll disappear there. Um, the next one is um, skip down to just this one here. Uh, these are for people that I've um, you know kind of replied to uh, this week, and if I kind of want to quickly check back with them or something like that. Um, this is why that smart mailbox is used. So as message was replied to and the date received was uh, this week. And, and that really kind of comes in handy as well when I'm kind of quickly looking for those people that I previously uh, replied to, okay? And I think I showed this in the first video that I did. Um, these are type of smart mailboxes that I use that uh, come from a particular email address. So in this particular one, these are all the emails that are filtered from my Mac Automation Tips a Gmail account. And so I keep that, and I do this for several types of email addresses there. Um, and the last one, the last kind of smart mailbox I want to show you is one that um, I kind of use this toward the end of the year, like right now, like in November, December. And this filters and collects all the emails from the previous year, right? And, uh, and, and they're, they're all that appear in the um, inbox here. And so I, I open this up and then I select them all and erase them. Now, if it's a lot of emails, I think I erased about 15,000 emails from last year. And it took quite a while for it to happen. It, it, it was kind of a little bit difficult for it to happen. I had to keep trying to do it. But um, you, know, you can try it out yourself. And um, it's, I probably should do this maybe twice in a year or something like that, rather than waiting until the end of the year. But this is a good one for just, you know, kind of getting rid of your old emails. All right, so now let's go to the smart rules that I use in Apple Mail. All right, here we are in uh, preferences here in mail. And uh, let's go over this. First off, you know, one of the rules that I use here is um, uh, delete uh, delete the email from a particular address. So for example, with this particular uh, email, um, when I see it in my inbox, I'll take a look at it and I really don't need it. I know I'm not gonna need it, you know, you know, like next week or next year or whatever. So I just have it immediately, um, you know, delete it after a day or two um, and it's moved to the trash there. So I've, I've done this for like, you know, three or four emails uh, there and I probably should do it for a lot more, but I know that there are some emails that I simply don't uh, need to have uh, kept in my inbox uh, for more than a day or two. All right, the next one is called uh, Previous Recipients. This one is one that I, I kind of, I check this particular folder in the morning sometimes when I don't have a lot of time to look at mail, but I may, I may take the time to look at emails from previous recipients. So that's a rule um, inside of uh, Apple Mail there. And so, so anybody that I've replied to um, in the past or previously, 
uh, that emails are probably more they're probably important to me at that point and um, so I'll you know respond to those and the date that is sent um, is less than two days and so I'll have those emails copied to a folder called previous, right? And so when I look at them, I can read them and then I can just delete them from the folder. But the original email will um, still be in my inbox and still be in my mail system there as well. So that's just a kind of a way to kind of quickly look at some of the previous recipient emails. All right. The next one is some emails I'll have uh, flagged from a particular um email address and uh, and that's those are emails that are you know pretty much important to me for a particular reason it might be a receipt uh, what have you that I need to keep track of and so I'll add uh, uh, addresses to these I only have one right now but typically um, you know I have I think I have a couple, a couple more of these that I probably could just put put into one rule but uh, that's what I use those for here and you can just kind of flag it and you can you know flag it with any particular color that you choose okay um, the next one is um, this one here are emails that um, I want to have automatically moved to a folder called read, read. and uh, what that is is that typically I don't want to I don't want to read these emails on my computer I want to read them on my iPad um, in the evening or what have you when I have time and I want to be able to quickly find those emails there so I'll have them automatically marked as read and also move to the read folder there. So it's really convenient just for catching up with some emails that are typically long, but they're also important to me. The next one here is, um, this is the last one here, is there are some emails that I definitely don't want to miss uh, throughout the day or in the morning when I get to my computer. They're very important to me. Like they're emails like related to tech issues. And uh, they're usually from some of the same email addresses here. And um, so when these emails arrive, um, the, they, the, uh, the, the message will bounce or the, the icon in the dock, the mail icon will, will bounce up and down to let me know that I've got I received a message from one of these email addresses. Um, I have also one you notice here it says add a keyword to it. Um, this is a plugin that I use, so you probably won't be able to get that in uh, your mail, but you definitely have the rule for bouncing the dock and uh, and also I have um, an Apple script that automatically opens that email when it arrives as well and that's something that you have to create and maybe I'll do a video around that if you're interested okay so those are the the kind of the rules that the different types of rules that I use and you notice I have several different uh, rules up in here but they're mainly kind of related to the ones that I just showed you so hey if you like this particular uh, video on this particular topic he let me know by kind of pressing the like at the uh, um, you know below here and also if you're not a subscriber to Mac Automation Tips channel uh, definitely subscribe because that tells me that you're interested in these videos and that really kind of inspires me to do more videos so I really appreciate you taking your time to check it out and I will see you next time on my Mac unit my Mac Automation Tips YouTube channel thanks a lot